Good morning. Say how much? Say how much? Say. How was the summer vacation? No vacation. Today's session is the second time. You remember. And uh, last time, uh, I think two months ago, one month ago, two months ago. Yeah, we did uh, direct communication, especially verbal communication. Do you remember? Okay, let's start. Uh, today, again, direct communication, non verbal communication. Nowadays, as you know, communication methodology is very complicated. Many of people use email and also chatting system, more digitalized. Né? But uh, basic communication, verbal and non verbal, is very important. Last time I explained that one of, exa one of example, <clears throat> even if you say one single word, yes, team, by text message, Sometimes there is a two different meeting. There are two different meetings. Team, 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 or team, team. Meaning is different, right? That's why this is just a simple example, but uh, you know, there are a variety of similar situations. So that even digital methodology developed advanced basic human communication methodology is very important. Today, what I'm going to talk is very basic and uh, it's not something new for everybody. Everybody knows it. However, I think uh, better to review all together. Yeah. Because uh, usually communication itself, you are doing every day, every day, every single moment together with someone else. But uh, without consciousness, right? That's why today reviewing variety of methodology skill with conscious, then recall in your mind, then try to behave. This is very important. Okay? Let's start. <clears throat> Just earlier, I asked what is non verbal communication? And everybody said face expression, behavior, posture. Variety of things. Yes, all of those are very true. Let's see it. Hmm. With facial expression, smiling, crying, angry, and relaxing and smiling, human will show emotion and feeling using face. This facial expression is more like uh, uh, showing you are feeling emotion, right? Yeah. Of course, sometimes on business, you may do poker face, no smiling. Even if you are happy, no. Even if it's not good, smiling. Like a poker face, you may make sometimes, but it's a intentional. But basically, you will show feeling emotion by facial expression. Next, gesture. You do that sometimes, right? This gesture is showing your intention. Yes or no. Or I don't know. Or calm down. Showing intention. It's different from feeling expression. Next, body language. Someone said body language, right? Yes, sir. Body language case, uh, using your body, showing your intention and the feeling expression, right? You are sitting here. Here. Then, if it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, like that. Haira, 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 haira. Body language. Or sometimes when men were drinking too much, started fighting, in the beginning standing like that. <laughs> this is body language. 
giving a pressure and then showing an angriness. And any time I will punch you, showing such body language, right? <laughs> then next is uh, motion. This one, this one, this one. And maybe this one as well. Right? Those are motion. Motion itself has no meaning actually. But this motion will emphasize what you are saying, what you are trying to say, and you are feeling. Okay? That's why those four are very similar, looks like same, but basically different. Showing your feeling and expression by face, and also giving your intention, yes or no, or better by hand sign and gesture. Or body language is, body is showing feeling and the intention, right? Or motion is emphasizing what you want to say, what you are trying to say. Those are very similar, but actually different. Hmm. Very well, well used of each function is very effective for successful business and the communication and communication with your customers. Even friends, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, very effective. Then now, maybe 20 or 30 staff are sitting here, all of you. Then looking at me, looking at him, someone is uh, nodding. Mm -hmm. It's non-verbal communication. Saying, I'm listening, I agree with you, I understand. This is one of way, right? Showing gesture, I understand. <laughs> then, <clears throat> more interesting is that uh, I said, even though I said facial expression is coming from your emotion, feeling, or you know, if it's a pain, in that case, pain, you will show by face, right? But on the other hand, if you try to make smiley face, if you try to make angry face intentionally, emotion might be driven by that face, vice versa. For example, um, have you ever been to our contact center, call center? Have you ever been? Do you remember what was there next to PC screen? Mira, Mira. Why there was a mirror? The reason why we set small mirror in our contact center each desk is this methodology. Every day, thousands of calls will be coming to contact center from customers. And most of the cases complain and trouble. Then sometimes customer is really angry. In that case, we are human. Of course, we also become feeling, you know, we start feeling angry, stressed, then like this face, right? But uh, if there is a mirror, oh wow, so far angry face of mine, you will see, right? Then you will try to better face, you will try to make better face. Then feeling will come into your side, then calm down, listen to customer. Okay. That's why we are setting mirror all desks in contact center. Okay. Next, important factor to make you more attractive by nonverbal communication. What is that? One, eye contact. Eye contact. If between boyfriend and uh, uh, boyfriend, <laughs> boyfriend, girlfriend, this is better. <laughs> eye contact, looking at your eye, haira. <laughs> However, if I'm doing like that, haira. 
stupid, right? <laughs> That's why eye contact is very important. In front of customer, customer sitting, and you are sitting here, but uh, without eye contact, just operating. How customer feel? No good, of course. But uh, each time you give eye contact, customer feel better, right? Customer may feel, I am listening to him. I'm taking care of him. I'm paying attention to him by eye contact, right? That's why eye contact is very important. Next is a facial express. In previous slide, we show variety of emotion you can convey by face. Smiley face, angry face, melancholy face, depressed face, crying. <clears throat> so, in communication, not only just a flat face, please show your emotion or uh, your feeling through face. Of course, in negotiation or business negotiation or discussion, in that case, you may have to have poker face without showing emotion, intentionally just normal face. So please distinguish such occasion, okay? I will speed up. Motion of head and face. Yeah. Just areas <clears throat> I show. Then sometimes, uh, depending on country and the culture, motion will be different. Typically, we have some Indian. We had some Indian engineers in Mobica. Indians say. Yes, 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 yes. Generally, we, maybe same as Mongolia, Japan, uh, this is no, no. <laughs> India case <laughs> means yes. That's true story. That's why motion of head and the face and the body motion, gesture, body language case, sometimes, depending on culture, or background of or country or lifestyle, it means totally different. That part, please be careful, right? Then next, posture, pose and attitude. If I'm talking like that, no good, right? Giving a pressure, more arrogant behavior, uh, arrogant impression, right? However, if I talk, sign by Tsugano, looks different, right? That's why posture, pose, attitude is very important. Dara. Distance and positioning, this is really quite important. Generally, <laughs> through my four, five years experience, Mongolian life, Quite often, Mongolian talk quite close, right? And body touch a lot. <laughs> Japan case, a little bit uh, keep distance. Yeah. Depending on country, culture, background, behavior is uh, different. For example, one of my friend, Raten, from Cuba, he's living in Mongolia. He's always like that. He blow, blow, blow. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this distance and the position where I stand is very important. Physical contact. Sometimes it's necessary. So sometimes it's risky. <laughs> Some people may feel uncomfortable. Don't touch me, don't touch me. However, if you sit here, I'm CEO, and uh, our employee, my team member, is sitting, right? Then I come. How have you been oh, doing, Mala? How are you? I'm good, thank you. This is case one. Next one. 
How are you? Oh, I'm right. steady, man. Thank you. How have you been doing? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you. Which is better? You felt more comfortable. Right, this one. Okay. Sure. If someone higher up touch, how are you, man? Mm. Or, how are you, man? Different, right? That's why sometimes this body touch is quite effective. In shop, if senior person, old lady, old man came in, like, uh, like that, came in, then if old man can, oh, are you okay? Oh. Somehow holding. Or, are you okay? Come in. How can I help you? Totally different, right? Soft body touch is uh, quite effective to give you, uh, give a good impression to customers. Yeah. Next is uh, visual appearance and looking and the physique and the physical looking. <laughs> Means today I'm wearing suits, wearing good, uh, good shoes and he's wearing suits, very trimmed hair style, right? Good looking, right? That's uh, one of the important uh, factor of a communication, more better way. If I'm wearing a very dirty t-shirt, dirty jeans, and a very dirty sneaker, sign by Tsugano, how have you been? Be mobikomi hizahira. From the beginning, you know, different impression I may give you, right? That's why this visual appearance looking, physique, physical looking is uh, quite important. I'm not saying you should be handsome and beautiful. It's a different matter. Hmm. Next, timing and the synchronization. Always I, you know, come up to him when he is busy it's difficult to make communication, right? But uh, when he looks not busy, then I come up. Hey, my life, how are you? It's more smooth, sir, right? That's why communication timing and synchronization is a very important. Next, speech balance. Balance of talk and uh, listening. This is not talking about the contents of, uh, you know, what you're talking about. Means, this means balance. We are trying to communicate, but uh, if I keep speaking to him, hey Malai, how are you, what's up, and what did you eat? Uh, how have you been today? Oh, good, good, good. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, what, what would I have to do today? Today I would like to go. Oh, let's go ranch, let's go ranch, let's go ranch together. One way, <laughs> it is not good. That's why balance, talk, and listening. This is very important. Same as the situation with customer, right? When you try to explain something, you keep talking, 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 but uh, you never know if customer really understanding it's not good. You need to ask what she's saying, what he's saying. The importance of listening ability and skill. Listening is uh, very important. Then by appropriate skill, you can improve a lot. Then reactive listening, just listening to music, and uh, proactive listening is totally different, okay? Especially proactive listening case, you have to use some skill and a technique, and you need to have experience, okay? Hmm. So, how to make proactive listening? Let's see how we can do. First, you have to calm down then your feelings should be peaceful and calm down. When you are angry, when you are in a hurry, when you have high pressure, stress, it's really difficult to listen to someone else. 
That's why I try to calm down first. And then relax. Next, to make sufficient space in yourself to catch and understand the information, meaning, and nuance ne? between conversation and the conversation. One example. I'm sitting here in the morning. Manlai Iruchpai. Good morning, Hamasa. Oh, good morning. Uh, are, are you busy now? We have what say? Uh, are you busy now? We have some. Te, 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 te. Well, What's the matter? Uh, Yasun, we, we have. We, have this, we need a this budget for TT. Yamar budget? Uh, it's a budget for Tencha. Uh, Yamar Unte? It's uh, 200 million. 200 million. Oh, uh, 2 million? 2 million? 200 million. 200 million? 200 million. 200 million. I'm not listening. Am I listening? Listening, but not understanding, right? Get there. Good morning, Hamasa. Oh, same banner. Oh, same banner, same banner. Actually, we have, I have one request. Te. We need 100 million for additional tension. Te, te, te. 200 million tension there. 200 million. Okay. It's it. Uh, in, in two months. Oh, two months. Zop Oh, thank you. <laughs> Am I listening? I was listening, right? Trying to understand what he's saying. Different, right? That's why... Oh. Calm down first, stop other thing, focus on subject. Then, try to understand what he wants to say. That's a very important. Of course, together with the customer, sometimes you have to do that. Sitting, customer is sitting here, operating. What's the name? Yes, this is also important. The balance in, is important. If customer started to complain, in that case, stop it. Listening, 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 then explain. Listening, 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 explain. Not explain, 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 listening. Customer will get more angry. <laughs> so, you have to make your time to listen. Then, time control and management is important. Then, time in control management to make others listen. Okay? That's one of the technique. Next. <clears throat> Next practice, recognition, characteristic, acknowledgement, characteristics. characteristics. Mm. One, to know what type of person you are, straight type, associate type. What does it mean? Each person has individual different characteristic type, right? And more aggressively talking, and always dominantly talking, or naturally always reactive listening type. Without understanding your type, it's really difficult to have a good communication, right? If I'm always talkable person, or talking, 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 if I fully understand I'm such person, if so, intentionally I stop talking. Otherwise, one-way communication, okay? Next, sight perception type, language perception type, auditory perception type. This means, depending on person, there is a characteristic way to understand, recognize something, okay? For example, for me, always, when I listen something, I try to image picture in my brain, okay? But uh, some person just listening, then directly understand as it is by word. Okay? Someone needs to have a kind of uh, example, 
example, the different wording they need to. Depending on person how to understand the situation, how to understand what he's saying is totally different. That's why in communication between two amongst team, if you could know what type of person he is, what type of person she is, what type of person I am, you should know it as much as possible. By doing so, easy communication can be built. Sometimes I draw a picture first, right? Or without picture, I just talk. Actually, I'm sight perception type person, actually. That's why some of you might have noticed that in this session, quite often I demonstrate by myself, right? Sitting, a man like him. Means when I explain, I was imaging situation visibly in my brain. That's why I'm sight perception type. More like a realistic type. Showing a real situation, demonstrating. Some of people, even sight perception, someone may write, uh, draw the picture, right? My case, using motion and demonstrating. That's why very realistic type and a sight perception type, I think. Depending on your type, you can choose your own best way to listen to others. Not only listen to, communicate with others, okay? In addition to time management, environment, and the place is important. Sometimes off-site meeting in the cafe or camping area. This is a part of non-verbal communication methodology to make it effective, okay? If you are working here, everyday working in this room, then if you like to have some kind of deep discussion, deep meeting, in same environment, same place, same time. In that case, people may not pay attention much, not focusing. However, if we move to somewhere, oh, camping area, or downstairs cafe, then relaxing mood environment, then if we make communication, it may work very well. Quite often we conduct such off-site meeting or sometimes downstairs the coffee shop we are having meeting because it may be effective for good communication. Next one, no last minute preparation. Okay, if you like to have good communication then suddenly running and come to me, then breathing, I have something to talk with you. It's difficult to make good communication, right? That's why no last minute preparation is important. Then <clears throat> today, Today's contents all covered now. <laughs> and uh, non verbal communication. Non verbal communication is not just only body language, sign, reaction, facial expression, including timing and distance, close or far away, or environmental situation. Those are all included in non-verbal communication. Even your clothes, even your uh, shoes, attitude, behavior, those are all part of non-verbal communication. Please okay. check your non-verbal communication way. Face expression, okay, behavior, okay, attitude, post posture, okay, and timing, and distance, body language, or sign, please check with someone else, not by yourself. 
someone say, oh, your face is not good today. Oh, more smile, please. Oh, you better to stand vertically. Yes, oh, good, 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 good. Straight. Always you are like that. Please check each other. Okay? Then let's brush up and level up. That's all, Thank you very much.